today's blonde fun talk with me at the Grove. Today I'm here for another book signing. Uh, again, for Joey Griseff, I was here for his first book signing last year, so now I'm back at it again for this year. I um, mean, I have the entire outdoor patio all to myself, which is incredible, and I also have this wonderful view right here, and I'm about to edit a heck ton of videos, because I filmed a lot of videos last night, so I have to edit them all, I'll get them all done, and I'm gonna upload them so you don't have to worry about them anymore. Um, so I'm gonna get that done, and then afterwards, let's have some fun. So today I'm not going to eat at my regular place where I always eat when there's book signings because today I'm gonna break through it, eat at Jones on 3rd. I've never eaten there, never ever eaten there. Um, but they have buttermilk pancakes, I really wanna try it, and obviously coffee, and I'm incredibly hungry, and right here they don't open until 11, and it's 10.30, and it's just like a, it's a 20 minute walk. So I get an extra, I get a workout before, and I eat after, and then I do another workout because I'm gonna come back here then back again over there to the Beverly Center. I just told you my schedule. I'm already tired. I'm already tired and I haven't even walked that much. Oh my gosh. a long time it was it was so good it was so good i if you live here in los angeles which i mean if you live here i mean it's already a tragedy that you live here just like me um, but if you live here i definitely recommend going to jones on third because it just it's so good it's so good like i think with me the issue with los angeles is that i've always been incredibly secluded in the sense that I've never experienced this city as far and as wide to know every single little hot spot there is in every single little great eatery there is. So I think that's a really big issue with me. Is that I've always lived incredibly secluded and I haven't really uh how can I say it? I've never really expanded my horizons here. It's always been the same places for the last couple of years. Well forever. It's been the same place forever and I've, I've never really gone somewhere different but honestly it was one of the best breakfasts I've had in such a long time and everybody's incredibly lovely and courteous so definitely recommend you going there. Alright, I'm at the Beverly Center now. It's literally only 11 a.m. and I'm already at the Beverly Center. Usually how, they, how these things go, I'm not here until 1 p.m. Um, oh, that's new. What is that? Oh, that's for LG. I don't use LG. So basically I'm here. Um, obviously I'm here. Um, I'm gonna upload some videos that I did not upload at the Grove because there's no Wi-Fi there. There's Wi-Fi at the Grove, but it's not good Wi-Fi. And here, like at the Apple Store, incredible Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna upload those three videos. Um, actually publicize one of them and then the other two are scheduled for next week and then also I'm gonna look at some stores I definitely am gonna step into Fendi um, because I really want to go there see if they still have the peekaboo bag and another one of the backpacks that I have and also to Bloomingdale's and Saxon Avenue across the street because there's something I really want there getting a bit impatient here with the uploading the focus and it's focusing on like the glare there we go Getting a bit impatient because it's literally processing. It's taking so long. It's taking way too long. Like, uh, I don't know what's going on with Apple's Wi Fi, what's going on with your Wi Fi. Usually incredible. Today, not that much. <laughs> it's taken, I think, half an hour to processing. So that's been, uh, that's been really challenging for me to be patient for that long. But uh, I'll brave through it. I'll brave through it. I'll still survive. I'll still survive. After one hour, um, the vlog finally went up. I still have two more videos to upload, uh, but that's the most important one. That's the one that goes up today. Um, now, I'm off to Bloomingdale, then I'm gonna do a lap around the Beverly Center upstairs to all the designers, because there's a ton of stuff I want to see that I don't normally, I mean, that I'm not normally able to see because I have so much stuff to do. So, I'll lap around, and then on to Saxon Avenue. All right, Bloomingdale's, uh, there wasn't really that many things that I kind of like. There was a few, but they weren't in my size, either way, so I couldn't buy them. Now, I'm off to Louis Vuitton because they release new fragrances. Um, they're, they're only fragrances that they've ever released, as far as I know. So I'm excited to go smell them. 
It's seven of them, but they sell like a big box with all seven of them for $2.90. So it's a pretty, pretty good deal. Considering that the actual bottles, like the big ones, cost $240. And you get every single one of them for $2.90. So it's a pretty good deal. I'm not going to buy them today, but I'm just going to see how they smell. Alright guys, if I had to pinpoint from 1 to 10 my list of experiences at designer stores, today's experience at Louis Vuitton was definitely a 10. A 10, so you're not going to believe this. You're not, oh it's beautiful. You're not going to believe what happened. Like it's, it's a bit insane. Okay, so basically I was just looking around, looking at the shoes, saw the fragrances, and then a guy um, who works there obviously. Um, if he did it, I'm a bit terrified now. <laughs> The guy who works there basically offered me, like, do you want some water? Do you want some coffee? Some wine? I'm kidding, no, not wine. <laughs> not wine for me just yet. Not yet, not yet. But he offered, like, something to drink. And I said coffee. That would be lovely. And honestly, oh my lord. This is the first time ever I'm actually, like, offered drinks at a luxury store. And the coffee was incredible. Like, it was incredible. I felt so opulent. I felt so opulent there, even for just one moment in my life. So... Louis Vuitton at the Beverly Center, you're doing great. They're probably gonna watch this. Um, you're doing great. You're doing great. I'm gonna step into Prada just in a bit, but I can't film in there, so that's why I'm filming outside here. But honestly, that was one of the best experiences at a luxury store. Um, my mother's gonna kill me because she doesn't. My mother doesn't agree with me going inside and not buying anything uh, because I just window shop there. I window shop, but sometimes I do put things on waitlist. Sometimes I do like put things on hold because I don't want anybody to take them. Today there wasn't there wasn't something that I wanted to put on hold. There really wasn't anything. So there was no reason for me to put something on hold but honestly it was one of the best experiences. Um so if I don't put out a vlog tomorrow I was killed by my mother, okay? Um but yeah, like the coffee was incredible. The mug was Louis Vuitton as well. Like I had like the little monograms on the mug. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. And they were all so lovely, which rarely have rarely does it happen in designer stores when people are lovely. But yeah. Now I'm gonna step into Prada. I'll put that under number two. Okay. Alright, I went in almost every store I wanted to go to except one. There's still one. This is such good lighting. I, if if I weren't doing a meeting read, this would be the thumbnail. This is beautiful. Um, so basically, I went to went, sorry, went to Burberry, then I went to Fendi, then I went to Saint Laurent, and I sit here for a bit, just because I'm not in any, I'm not like running out of time. Um, Burberry was a pleasurable experience. I liked it. I liked it. Um, they're really lovely. Uh, Fendi, incredibly lovely. Like the guy there was so sweet, honestly, and shared me all the bags I wanted to see. They still have the monster, the peekaboo monster, which I really want. Like that's the one that's. That's the dream, guys. That one's a dream. And then Saint Laurent. Um, I always love going to Saint Laurent, but they didn't have anything that I wanted there. They had a bag I liked, but it wasn't in the color that I wanted, so it was. It's like a green. I kind of want a gray one, kind of, because I've never had like a gray bag before. I've had a green bag before, but I've never had a gray one. So I really wanted it in like a gray or a black. Apparently they do have black, but they don't have it here. But yeah, now I'm on to the last door, which is traffic, which is downstairs, which there I find everything that I love. And then after Saks Fifth Avenue, then back to the Grove. All right, so I just went into traffic. Like always, I always find things that I love. Always, always, always. I always find things that I love. And today was a lot more special in traffic because um, basically uh, two years ago I went there and it was like, it was like at the apex of June J when she did like the beautiful, I think it was, Spring Summer 2014 collection. I might be mistaken, it might have been the fall winter 2014, but I think it was the spring summer 2014. And honestly, I was obsessed with that collection so so much. It was so beautiful. The pieces were incredibly unique um, at the time, and they still are. They still are incredibly unique and they were just so beautiful. And uh, and there was this one piece which was a really oversized leather shirt, and the sleeves were incredibly bulky and they were incredibly big and um it, at the time it was a thousand six hundred and i told myself i'm not gonna get it i don't think i'll ever get it because it's it's too much for a shirt uh, for especially for a leather shirt i understand that it's real leather but i thought, told myself that's a bit too much for a shirt and now today uh, flash forward to two years later it's still there it's still there it's a one size shirt so it's one size fits all so it's still there and it's the only one left and uh the woman there told me who was so lovely like i didn't i don't know where your name is but if you're watching this hello <laughs> um uh she she told me that it was like at 50 percent off but that's more than 50 percent off um it's basically it went from 1615 to 646 
That's a lot. That's a lot of a discount. And then the owner of the store, the woman, uh, she knew me because I, I frequently go there a lot. And she told me that if I bought it today, I would get an extra 20% off because she knew how much I wanted that shirt at the time, and I still do. Um, and it was it was gonna be like 615 or 620 or something like that. And um, to be completely honest, being very, very honest with you, sometimes I have the money. Sometimes I have the money. Today, I don't really have the money because I didn't plan on spending $600 on traffic. Um, I only got enough for like food and necessities and anything from Top Man that is in the clear section. <laughs> so I, I didn't have the $600 today, so I didn't get it today. But I told her I would definitely think about it. Um, I'm definitely gonna talk to my mother about it and see if she can help me out with a bit of the pay. But there's also one thing at Saks Fifth Avenue which is equally the same price, if not less, that I absolutely love. And honestly, that thing that is at Saks Fifth Avenue, you can bury me in that. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna go see if it's still there. If it's still there, I still have a chance. I still, there's still chance. Well, looks like somebody's not gonna get sick for a long, long time. So, they were out of the charcoal lemonade that I always drink. So I decided to get the next best thing, which is called the pipe cleaner. And it basically has green apple, lemon, and ginger, which, trust me, I feel the ginger every time I drink a little sip of it. It's, it burns. It burns. It's the closest thing to alcohol that I have at my age. So you know what? I am enjoying it so, so much. Now I'm, now I'm, back to the, I'm going back to the Grove. Although I truly haven't been there the entire day. I've been at the Bailey Center the majority of the day. I haven't seen anything at the Grove, so I'm gonna go take a look at Nordstrom. All right, I've gotten to a point where I'm incredibly tired that I really just want to go to bed. But I can't do that. I don't like sleeping in the day. So I'm gonna keep on walking just to forget about it. I'm gonna go into Top Man, see if there's anything interesting there than Zara. Then the farmer's market just for a bit to kill some time. Then I'll come back here and then wait in line until the real, the real exciting thing happens. Although it's been an exciting day. Like, not to, not to brag, it's been an exciting day because I've experienced a lot of good things today, so that's incredible. I still wear it. Alright, so I just spotted another fellow YouTuber here that I used to... Some, sounds rude. <laughs> sounds a bit rude, but I, I used to like them, but then after like a while, I got kind of bored of watching their videos. I feel like I'm not the only one that's that happened to. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have watched the YouTuber for a while and then you get, you get bored, so that was the thing with me and... I just spotted them. I saw some girls like freaking out like, oh my gosh! Uh, I'm not gonna say who it is because then people are gonna know who I don't like and I really don't want people to know who I don't like. Um, even though I've been explicit about people I don't like in the past, but I just, when it comes to YouTube, it's better that nobody else knows who I don't like. Um, so yeah, so I just saw them spotted around here. I wasn't really sussed as I would have been a year ago where I'd be like, oh my gosh, I saw them and I would vlog with them. Eh. Now it's just like, eh, they're there. Okay. Let's move on with our lives. <laughs> Guys, trust me, if I didn't already have 10 copies of everything here, I'd buy it again. But I have, I think, 4 or 5 copies of 25, 3 of 21, and 2 of 19. I've yet to buy the vinyl edition of 25, though. But the thing is, I don't have, like, a vinyl player, so I don't know where I would play it. Maybe I'll just frame it. They have 21, too. Oh, yay! And Royal Albert Eppin Hall. Um, oh. Plays all the hits. I love it. Um, I'm gonna wait till the 2016 DVD comes out. But one album I've never purchased. Never purchased the Bonobo album. They have it like this. This although I don't have the money because I already spent all the money. I really need some food, so I don't have any more. So next time, I found the vinyl edition for Brave Enough by my 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 queen. I was about to say by my girl, but I don't know her that well. But by Lindsay Sterling. Um, Honestly, I, I would love to buy it. How much is it? How much is it? I spent all the money on, on food, like I told you. I got myself a pomegranate iced tea because I felt so dehydrated after the ginger drink. Like, oh my gosh, I thought, I actually, I'm not kidding, I thought I was gonna pass out. Like, it was, I mean, if I passed out in front of Joey, that would be pretty iconic, but not fun at all. Definitely not fun at all. Um, it's 5.30, people are starting to line up. I don't want to line up for an hour and a half, so 
I'm gonna walk around a little bit, uh, and then I'm gonna go line up. Um, I mean, I really don't have anything to worry about because I'm. I got like. <coughs> Wow, so much excitement. Finally, I got like a Barnes & Noble membership, so but a line for me. So it doesn't really matter what time I go, so. I'm gonna walk around, maybe watch a movie. Why don't I watch a movie? A, a, a 30 minute silent one. But yeah, gonna kill some more time, then I'm gonna go. All right, now it's getting real, because I think Danny was here too, which I kind of knew already was gonna be here. But now I'm excited, now I'm excited. Guys, something's happening. Something's happening. Something's happening. What's going on? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? I think Daniel's here. I'm not sure. Is it here? Guys, they're giving us false alarms. They're giving us false alarms all the time. By the way, this is Leah. Say, some, say something great for the vlog. Hi. Inspirational, motivational, there we go. Guy, by the way, I took off my glasses. He's done with the books. He's finally done with the books, so it's getting real now. Guys, it's getting real. It's getting real. Now it's real. There we go, that's the one. That's the one, that's the right one, that's the right one. I'm like internally crying. We both are. <laughs> it's here, this is here, this is here. This is here, oh my lord. Oh my lord, where, where? I can't see here he is. Where is he? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? People are just screaming. Who's it? Who's it? Oh my gosh. Wait. Where? Where? There's gonna be another false alarm. Oh, he's here. I see him. He's here. He's here. I see him. He's right there. Right there. Is he That's awful. <laughs> That's awful, okay. We're really near, really, I'm really near really quickly. That's insane. Like, this went by so quick already. Oh my god, she just died up. She just oh. up. Shook. Shook right there. Guys, I just met him. Got the book inside. I'll insert the picture right here for you guys to see. Um, it was like the second time meeting him, which is still, it was like, I feel like it was like the first time. Oh, okay, she's crying. <laughs> but yeah, it was like literally as if it were like the first time meeting him, and like even recognized me, which is insane as well. Like I'm just like it's it's been a good day. I've had so many highs today. Way too little lows today. Actually, not a single low today, which is which is great. I'm literally just I'm I don't know. It feels like it as if it were like the first time meeting him, and it's obviously not. But still, it was. It was just as amazing. It's still just as wonderful of a person. Like, give me a second before I'm like out up here to like talk. That should definitely be my next meetup. Adele should definitely be my next meetup. But honestly, the odds of that happening are pretty low. All right, I'm out from the Barnes and Noble. I'm like everybody's still crying and excited. I'm I'm excited. Like I've I've, I've cried already. I've cried already. I've cried my tears already. Um, it was just lovely seeing him again. Um, and it's so weird because I literally I don't live near him, but um, a little secret. I kind of know where he lives. <laughs> I I kind of know that. Um, I'm not gonna tell you where, but I, I kind of know. I just, I like, I'm not gonna like, go bug him every single day. But still, like, it's so weird that I, uh, we live like around like the same city, yet I rarely see him out. That's really strange. But whenever I do see him, it's, it's lovely. Like today, it was lovely. He's just such a lovely person. Recognize me still. Recognize me still. And honestly, it was just great. I wanna end the vlog like right in front of the pink fountain. Oh, it looks purple here. 
It, it looks purple here. Hold on. Let me finish the vlog like in front of the fountain. Where's, where's some, where's those spot that nobody has? Okay, where is it? Where is it? Let's see. Right the weight in my hat. Right there, there's the purple fountain for the camera and then pink for me. I'll end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. This is actually, um, by the way, on serious note, this will be the only vlog that I will enable the comments and the likes, so give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you were here and I didn't see you or if you've ever met him before. And as well, subscribe if you're new. I always have seen new viewers and I will see you tomorrow. And I'll definitely do a book review really, really soon. Bye!